sufficiency yeah, you're ridding me of self-sufficiency every ounce every trace I must have you before I move on I must have you before I step forward cause you're self-sufficiency you're ridding me of self-sufficiency yeah, you're ridding me of my self-sufficiency you're ridding me of self-sufficiency oh God I need Yes, I need you, and I'm not afraid to say it. Oh, I'm not afraid to say it. That, oh God, I need you. Oh Lord, I need you, and I'm not afraid to say it. I'm not afraid to admit it. That, oh God, I need you. Oh. Showing me that I can't do it on my own. Oh, you're showing me that I can't do it on my own. You're showing me that I can't do it on my own. Oh, you're showing me that I can't do it on my own. Voice. Oh, 
but God, show me a new way. Would you show me a new way of thinking, of living, of being? Show me a new way. Show me a new way. Show me a new way.
everything that's not of you, everything that's not of you. Oh, help me to embrace this pain. Oh, help me to embrace the pain. Help me to embrace the pain, cause I know it means glory, I know it means goodness, I know it means looking like your son, oh I know Let go. 
you're for me your rod and your staff they comfort me in life and in death you have overcome your love will never fail jesus your love will never that's gone to the grave and come back it's a love that's put down his life it's a love that says anything is possible it's a love that fights on my behalf Your love, your love, your love will never fail. It's your love, your love, your love is stronger, it's bigger. Your love, your love, your love has conquered every giant. Oh, your love, your love has conquered every fear. I split the seas for me Your love, your love, your love Oh, it's better, it's stronger, it's bigger It's better, it's stronger, it's bigger Your love will never fail Your love will never fail
We are now going into a time of praying and singing from the Word of God for North Korea. This morning, we will be reading Isaiah 40, verses 1 through 11. I encourage you to find it in your Bibles and join us as we meditate, sing, and pray for North Korea through these verses. Isaiah 40, verses 1 and 2. Comfort. Comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned, and that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. Almighty God, I lift up North Korea to you today and ask that you pour out fresh rivers of grace and mercy over the people. You are the great comforter, Holy Spirit, and you want to be the one they come to when they feel hopeless, depressed, anxious, afraid, and desperate. We ask today that you bring deep and abiding comfort to the North Koreans around the world. Your word says that you are close to those who are brokenhearted and crushed in spirit. Interrupt their lives right now with this truth. Speak your comfort in such a way that opens their eyes and leads them to turn away from the lies they've been told about you. Reveal yourself in their lives and show them that you have been fighting for their freedom and individual destinies all along. We declare that the winner in the battle for these precious people has already been decided and it is you. We declare that the enemy's days are numbered and that the victory is yours, Lord Jesus.
never stopped And you never stopped Isaiah 40 verses 3 through 5 A voice cries In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord Make straight in the desert a highway for our God Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Speak, Almighty God, and open the ears of all the North Koreans in the peninsula and abroad. Speak of your return. May they not be caught off guard. There are so many things that need to be done to ready North Korea for your return. And we pray that you will swiftly move today, toppling all the high places and man-made idols that are in authority right now. There is only one way, truth and life, and that is you, Jesus. Remove the powers and authorities that are fighting to have your rightful place of authority in North Korea and pour out revival fire that will turn the people's hearts to you for salvation. Heal, mend, and restore all of the spiritual rivers that have been cut off and blocked by the enemy. Build and change the spiritual and physical landscapes in North Korea, making them exactly the way you want them. We declare healing and deliverance as all idols are turned away from. You will align each life to their destiny and purpose. We declare that your glory will be revealed and that all North Koreans will see it and live in ever-increasing awe of you. Your spirit is where your spirit is. There is freedom. There is freedom, you're bringing freedom As you take down every high place, every high thing Oh, as you take down everything that sets itself against you Cause you're a jealous God Cause you're a jealous God Oh, you're a jealous God Jesus is coming. 
coming. Jesus is coming. There will be those who rise up to declare it. Rise up to declare it. Oh, you're raising up an army. You're raising up an army of lovers, of lovers, of victorious lovers. Oh, you're raising up an army. Yes, you're raising up an army of lovers, of lovers, victorious lovers. Your victorious bride, your victorious bride. You're raising up lovers, oh, you're raising up lovers to be your victorious bride, your victorious bride. You're raising up lovers, oh, you're raising up lovers to be your victorious bride, your victorious bride. You're raising up lovers, oh, you're raising up lovers, ones who aren't afraid to declare the coming of their Lord, who aren't afraid to face trial and persecution. Oh, you're raising up lovers, you're raising up lovers, a victorious bride, it's a victorious bride, you're raising up lovers. You're raising up lovers, a victorious bride, a victorious bride, for you are a jealous God. You are a jealous God, and you're jealous for your people to know. Jealous for your people to know your word that you're coming again, that you're coming again. Isaiah forty verses six through eight. A voice says, cry. And I said, what shall I cry? All flesh is grass, and all its beauty is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades when the breath of the Lord blows on it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Yes, Lord, the time is now for the voices to be raised speaking truth and proclaiming your rhema and written word in North Korea and to the North Koreans abroad. We know that once released, your word always accomplishes great kingdom purposes, changing lives and bringing hope. Your word of truth, declaring who man is and who you are. Let them see that because you so loved them that you came and lived as a man to make the way for them to know you, the one true God who is more good and loving than they could ever have dreamed possible. You have been raising up men and women all throughout the world to be your criers of truth. And today, we pray that you would pour out greater favor and anointing on them. Bless the simple working men and women who risk their lives to share their faith with others. Bless the artists who produce beautiful art, songs, and stories that you will use to touch the North Koreans' hearts. This is important work that you are anointing them to do, and we ask for greater impact. Protect them and release angels with specific assignments to preserve their lives and freedom. Release miracles, signs, and wonders to accompany their faith. Bless them with discernment and integrity as people around the world step out to share your love and truth with North Koreans. Bring a huge harvest of souls for your glory.
your goodness, of your kindness. Let them see that you are real, that you are for them. Let them see, let them see. Something they cannot unsee. Let them see, let them see, let them see. Something they cannot unsee. Something they cannot unsee. Let them see your glory. Let them see. Let them see your glory. They may know the one true living God, that they may cry out, cry out. That they may know the one true living God. Oh, that they may know the name of Jesus. They know the name of Jesus. The one who's died and come back to life. The one who is coming again, who's coming again. That they may know the name of Jesus. That they may know the name of Jesus. And they may cry, Maranatha.
Isaiah 40, verses 9 through 11. Go on up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good news. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good news. Lift it up, fear not. Say to the cities of Judah, behold your God. Behold, the Lord comes with might and his arm rules for him. Behold, his reward is with him and his recompense before him. He will tend his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms. He will carry them in his bosom and gently lead those that are with young. Lord Jesus, North Korea is part of your inheritance and is a land of people that you died on the cross for. Come and visit them with your manifest presence, proclaiming who you are from every high place as you take back possession of your land. Before the mountains were even formed at the creation of the world, you existed. Come with your might and power, setting up a new rulership and government today. Move supernaturally. These people belong to you and you alone. We know a great day awaits when Jesus, you will return again and you will do away with all evil regimes in every nation. And oh, how we long for that day. Before then, however, we ask for you to overthrow the principalities and powers that have long suppressed the North Koreans. Come and free the captives and bring restoration to them. Father them in your arms and carry them close to your chest, loving them back to life. Pour out abundant blessing, favor, health, and resources over all your faithful North Korean children who have put their faith in you. Remove all fear from their midst. Bless them with greater intimacy with you. Bless them powerfully today, Lord, activating new spiritual giftings and making them even more discerning and wise in this day and age. They truly live lives that heaven honors. Reward their sacrifices and faith lavishly. Give them away, willing to let them be trampled. 
world over You're not just a hired hand But you're a good shepherd Oh, you're a good shepherd Oh, you're a good shepherd And you will tend your flock with care Yes, you will tend your flock with care And you will tend your flock with care You will tend your flock with care And you will get your reward You will get your inheritance You will get your reward You will get your inheritance as they cry out as they acknowledge who you are who you are as they Almighty God, we pray that you would sweep through the land and bring new life to North Korea. You've planted seeds of revival in the land and in the people. And we pray that today you would bring them to life in this year of renewal. That as you pour out your glory and your spirit and your presence over the North Koreans, that new life would spring forth. We thank you ahead of time for answering our prayers. And we look with great anticipation to see what you will do for the North Koreans and in that land. We declare again that you alone rule and reign in North Korea. Be glorified, almighty God. Be glorified. In Jesus' name. Darkness has to bow, confusion has its final hour. When you speak, mountains rise and fall, it tears down every wall around me. When you speak, Breathe upon the dust, you come alive in us. When you speak, you silence every fear, we you feel your spirit here around us. Let there be light, let there be light. Till it fills up every space Come and have your way Let there be light Let there be light Just one word and I am changed Come and have your way Let there be light Let there be light Until it fills up every space come and have your way let there be light let there be light just one word and i am changed 
change. Come and have your way. Cause now you're everything we see as deep cries out to deep. See God and hear your glory on display. Jesus, take your place. We will see God. And now you're everything we see as deep cries out to deep. We will see And hear your glory on display. Jesus, take your place. We will see God. And now you're everything we see. As deep cries out to deep. One word and I am changed. Come and have your way. Let there be light. Let there be light. Till it fills up every space. Come and have your way. Let there be light. Let there be light. Just one word. As deep cries out to deep, we will see God. And hear your glory on display. Jesus, take your place. We will see God. At this time, we will transition into a time of intercession for the nation of North Korea. Since the divide, North Korean citizens have experienced extreme forms of social injustice. We as the body of Christ have been called to proclaim freedom for the captives and good news to the poor. I encourage you to come into agreement with me as I lead out in prayer. Follow my prayers with your own intercession. Dear Father, just as your son was imprisoned, mistreated, and cruelly suffered injustice, so do thousands of North Koreans daily. They are imprisoned for simple actions that the president believes undermines his authority. So much is stolen from them during this time of captivity. It's easy to become full of negativity and despair. Lord, we ask for a renewal of hope to arise. In the name of Jesus, we declare a recovery of the terrain that has been stolen by the enemy through inactivity and apathy. No longer. We reclaim their dignity and their beauty to be restored. Let us pray.
Lord, you see those abused and chained, all control stripped. Thousands of citizens walk in fear of being made an example of their voices are silenced, their hearts are crushed and downtrodden. To add upon the injustice, medical treatments are withheld, meals have provided are lacking and infrequent, all the while torture and executions hang over them. God, renew the hope of those who are imprisoned. You have already made them victorious. Help them to hold on to the truth of that. Let us pray.
Abba, your children and lost ones, like the Israels of old, cry out against enslavement. So many North Korean people are enduring right now, while those in power indulge and reap from the sacrifice and service of thousands. Lord, we pray for a shifting and shaking to occur. Instead of constant supervision, we pray for opportunities, destined encounters, and exchanges to occur. No longer a bleak future, but a bright tomorrow. Let us pray.
God, your heart has been breaking and crying out for North Korea throughout this entire reign of terror while they stay, while they are slaughtered, your children, and torture those you sent, however you desire to gather them up. Lord, turn their hearts to you. Let the innocent no longer be taken advantage of. Lord, may your vengeance pour out on those who would steal innocence for their own greed and gratification. Protect the children, God, and the innocent. God, for those who finally experience freedom, cover them with your protection against any who would try to take advantage of them. May the church rise up in finances and support of nonprofit organizations who are trying to protect refugees from trafficking and abuse. Let us pray.
God, where the Spirit is, there is freedom. You are a jealous God, and you will have your way. You will make your glory known. There will be a rising up. You are coming. The victory is coming. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.
just want to be where you are And I just want to be near your heart There is nothing like your There is nothing like your love. Jesus, there's nothing like your love. And God, we thank you for reminding us today that we don't have to do it on our own. We thank you that you rid us of our self-sufficiency and that you remind us that it's okay, that in fact it's even good for us to be broken. God, I thank you, Lord, that you're giving us more and more glimpses into your kingdom, into your glory, and you're allowing us to partner with you, to bring your kingdom here. I pray, God, that as we continue to come and um, ask for your heart for different nations, for North Korea, for Israel, for this nation that we're living in. I pray that you would open our ears and our hearts, that you won't let us miss what you're saying. I pray that you would keep us sensitive to your voice, that you would allow us to hear what it is that's on your heart, what it is you're wanting us to declare in your name. And I pray that you'd keep our hearts tender, you'd keep us supple, that we would be willing to follow you, that we would be willing to do what we hear you say. Now keep us in this place of surrender, God. We give you all the glory. We pray this in Jesus' name.